A featherweight bout, Jack Shore minus 450. Maquan Americani plus 450. Over-under set at one and a half rounds, minus 133 for the over, plus 133 for the under. One and four in his last five for Americani. Jack Shore losing his perfect record in his last timeout. At Bantamweight against Ricky Simone, decides that he wants to move up to 145. Sounds like that was a uh, thought that he had for a while and just decided to do it. Uh, now it sounds like he's going to be staying at 145. So usually a very big 135-er. In this one, it's going to be slightly undersized, 5'8 uh, for Jack Shore, 5'10 for Amir Khani, and a one-inch reach advantage for Amir Khani. But if you don't know, Maquan Amir Khani, he wants to get that thing to the ground, and he wants to hit that anaconda choke, which he has been able to in the past, but not as of recently. Um, unless you look at the fight from last year's card in March in London, got that Anaconda choke in the first round, a big underdog in this one. Uh, I don't know. I mean, whew. Americani's wins are not that great, but Jack Shore coming up in, uh, in weight as a big favorite. And he's not really like a potent finisher. Right. Maybe that had a, a bit to do with the weight. Maybe he just didn't have, a ton of uh, cardio in the tank for those those fights and power going into those fights because he's cutting all that weight. But in this one, um, you know, Amir Khani is going to come out hot. And I think the best way to go about this is if you like Amir Khani, take him in that first round by sub. If you, if you don't and you like Jack Shore, I'd probably wait until uh, after that first round because Amir Khani tends to – win the first round or at least keep it close and you'll probably get a better price on Jack Shore. So I think Jack Shore probably wins, but Maquan is live in that first round. I mean, he, he goes for those takedowns early and he's great at snatching up that neck, snatching up that Anaconda. I mean, he's got what three of them, four of them in the UFC, yeah. three of them in the UFC, four submissions in total goes the decision, man this guy pretty much burns out after the second round. I could see a, a second round or third round finish for Jack Shore. So wh whatever those odds are, I'll definitely be looking at it. What about you? Yeah, you look at Mir Khani. Um, uh, first of all, I want to point out the, the video you had on him has the coolest topology picture of any fighter. Oh, yeah. It's him with a bunch of uh, females surrounding him. So Jack it Shore. Like, uh, it looks like a cologne commercial. Yeah. Cologne commercial. yeah. yeah like, around him in this yep. like, suit. It's funny as hell. <laughs> Yeah, and you know Jack Shore had a ton of hype around him going into his last fight, and then uh, Ricky Simone got that arm triangle choke, and and you know, kind of not necessarily shocked me, but I thought Shore was going to win that fight just because of how good he looked. But I think you know bumping up that stiffer competition, um, you know, it showed that Jack Shore is a human. But in this fight, I think Jack Shore has the grappling and the wrestling to keep this thing on the feet if that's where he wants it. I think he should be the better striker. Um, I don't necessarily see a finish happening um, on Jack Shore's side. If anybody gets finished, I think it's like, like you talked about, Amir Khani finding something in the first round because he almost seems like he's a round one submission or bust. Like if he yeah. gets past that round, first round, and he doesn't have a submission in the bag, um, you can almost see like he just kind of the confidence drops drastically. And in a fight against Jack Shore, man, I think Jack Shore will just kind of take the fight wherever he wants to go. He'll control um, the fight and be the one kind of dictating um, on the feet. So, yeah, man, this one's pretty cut and dry. Uh, if you're going to play Amir Khani, do it by submission. I think that's his only shot to win this fight. And if you like Jack Shore, um, I would say it's by, by decision. I think he just kind of plays this one safe, needs to get back in the win column. Um, doesn't really put himself in any danger with the with the wrestling and grappling, leave his neck out there or anything. Um, I think he just kind of controls the fight wherever it is and, and gets that decision win.